The most influential driver on student thinking and behavior is their interaction with their peers. Having a peer in the room interacting and leading the students uh, is a very effective way at getting them to engage and respond. Peer-led team learning, or PLTL as it's known, is a uh, method of uh, teaching that seeks to enhance student learning. It involves having the students work in small teams of six to eight students that collaborate to solve challenging problems and the act of participation in that process has been shown in a number of studies to lead to enhanced learning by the students. To me, Physics 218, which is our first semester mechanics course in, in the sequence for, for students studying physics, this is a natural gateway. This is a student's first exposure to physics in most cases. Um, and this course is the one I think where we want to most get people to, to think about physics in the right way. That is, if we can catch them early, we have a chance to get them thinking in this sort of creative and, and discussion-oriented way rather than trying to just memorize formulas. The peer leader is somebody who has taken this course previously and done very well in it. They are also good role models for the students in the class in terms of demonstrating uh, good study habits and other kinds of soft skills that are important for doing well in, in college. The peer leaders that we uh, select for the course are given a full day of training just before the semester starts on various techniques and strategies for facilitating a group. We describe the approach that we'll be using, why it's been demonstrated to be effective, and what their role will be as a peer leader during the semester. I decided that I wanted to be a peer leader mostly because I had such a good experience in my own recitations when I took 218 last semester. Um, I, I thought that it helped us, like the group, understand way more in depth the material and also it's a great way to like learn how to communicate with people and I wanted to do that to like give back. There's a freedom there, a degree of freedom to be able to really approach the problems without inhibition. It's okay to be wrong. It's okay to just try something out. And when you feel that free, you, you learn so much more. I think it's important for Texas A&M to strive to continuously improve its, its educational offerings because we all have a responsibility to the students who come here to do the very best we can to ensure that they uh, graduate in a timely fashion, uh, that they uh, leave the university with a degree that prepares them to go into the workforce. We need to continually reevaluate what we're doing, look at best practices elsewhere, and decide what we can best do to accomplish those.